my kindergarten. So in case you want to draw that red macaw again, I'm going to show you nice and slow, and you can copy me. So we're going to start off with our head piece. Okay. Then we're going to draw our wing. And then we're going to do our tail. So a fun fact about red macaws is that their tails are actually a lot longer than most other parrot species. And they're also just one of the largest parrot species in general. So a species is like if there's a dog and a cat, those are two different species. But there's also like multiple different types of cat species. So there's a tiger is one species of cat and a leopard is another species of cat. So there are lots of different types of parrots too. So they also have really big beaks as you can tell from our drawing. And these beaks help them to crush nuts and break into unripe fruit which gives them advantage over other smaller birds because they're able to eat things that other birds can't. Okay, so we have our belly, we have our tail, we have our wing, we have our head. So let's go ahead and draw the eyeball. Okay. And so now we can see, if we look at our other picture here, macaws have this lightly colored part of their face that's mostly just skin with a few little feathers. And you know how humans have a fingerprint? This part of the macaw's face is unique to each bird. So technically, if you were also a macaw, you would be able to tell the difference between your friends by how the feathers on this part of their face looked. I think that's kind of cool. So then macaws have short little feathers up here on their wings. And then they have long feathers here that are the ones that help them fly. And when those feathers spread out, they make their whole wing a lot bigger, so they can have their feathers tucked away, or they can spread them out. Okay, same thing with these tail feathers. Okay, then macaws have legs, so let's draw one leg. And then we're going to erase this little line right here. So this leg is in front. And then we have leg number two that is behind. And then they have their little feet. So we're just going to draw their claws. There's some claws going forward. And then they actually have one claw in the back that's going backwards, which is a special thing that some animals have, like backward toes. It's pretty funny. But it helps them hold on to tree branches. See? Because if they didn't have a backward toe, then they'd only be able to hold the front of the branch. Like if this was the branch, they'd only be able to go like this. And that's not as secure as if you hold on to it with your whole hand. Right? So now I'm here drawing a branch going underneath our macaw. Maybe draw the other side. Maybe the branch has a little split on it. All right, so then macaws, their habitat is that they live in the top of the rainforest. So we can draw a big tree. The top of the rainforest is called the canopy. It's where all of the large trees have all of their branches and leaves. So like I said, macaws usually feed on nuts and fruits, so maybe you want to draw a little bush down here that has some berries growing on it. 
Sometimes they drink the nectar out of flowers. They're craving a little sweet, so you could draw some blue flowers. And then macaws like to build their nests in the hollow of tr a tree trunk. So here's a big tree right here. And we can make a little hole in it, kind of like this. We can show that there's a nest here. Here's the nest. It's probably made out of some sticks. We could put a little egg in it. Maybe we want to draw the other macaw. Macaws also need two birds to help raise their baby. So that's called mating for life. So they just pick one bird that they're going to hang out with to raise their baby. And they still like to sleep in groups. So there might be some more birds hanging out over here. Look, there's another macaw sitting in this tree. Here's his tail and his wing and his eyeball. And then you could draw some other animals that live in the rainforest. Maybe a leopard. This one's for you, Noah. A big cat. It's got spots. Alright, and now you can color it in however you want. Like we were talking about, these are red macaws. So most of their body is red. Looks like I got a red violet. But you can look online, there are other types of macaws. Anyway, I hope you guys will make a beautiful macaw page. You guys did a great job this morning. And I hope to teach you about more animals soon. Bye.